لله رب العالمين أمر بشكره وذكره وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له شهادة من عرف ربه فقدره حق قدره فقدره حق قدره وأشهد أن لا إله وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله بلغ عن ربه نهيه وأمره صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وعلى آله وأصحابه الذين الذين هاجروا وجاهدوا مع نبينا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وأطاعوه في حالة العسر ويسره وسلم تسليما كثيرا وبعد First of all, we praise Allah, Lord of the world, who has given us opportunity, chances after chances for this life so we can obtain and bring a great a'mal, great deeds, so we can become successful. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He wants us to be successful, not unsuccessful. وَيُخَوِّفُوا بِهِ عِبَادَةِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He makes His servants fear. Fear Him. وَيُخَوِّفُوا بِهِ عِبَادَةِ يَا عِبَادِ فَاتَّقُونَ O servant of Allah, then fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What we fear from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is His punishment. And what we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is for His reward. It is not uh, something that to brainwash the people as some of the other religions would brainwash the people with falsehood, false words and misguidance so meaning that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us the guidance and he guides whoever that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he wills so today inshallah I want to try to bring into our lives what we need to put forward what we need to put up front with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He tells us in Surah Al-Hashr, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ya ayyuha al-lazina amanu Walamma yunadi rabbuna jalla wa ala li'ibadihi When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is calling upon His servants, this is for us. Not ya ayyuhannas. This is those who believed. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave them the iman and gave them the understanding of this religion. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He says, O oh you who believe, fear Allah. Fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So every of us, we need to fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. فَاتَّقُوا اللَّهَ مَسْتَطَعْتُمْ Fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as much as you can. Now we came from a time that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us a, such a short time. One month. أَيَّامًا معدودات, To train us to show that you are able to abstain. You are able to abstain from evil. You are able to control yourself. You are able to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for guidance. You are able to pray more salah. 
you are able to pray and praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala more than other months. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this short time was showing us. So we need to do a continuous of how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala showed us. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was the only one to reward that month. And now it's time that angels to start writing down your good deeds. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He lets everybody, every soul, know about this. Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu attaqu Allah wal tanzur nafs. So let every soul look to what it is before or forth, what they have put up front, what you have put in for the qiyamah. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, مَا قَدَّمَتْ لِغَدْ Why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says لِغَدْ Tomorrow. What you have put forth for tomorrow. What's tomorrow? Tomorrow is what? It's the day of judgment. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, إِنَّ السَّاعَةَ آتِيَةُ لَا رَيْبَ فِيهَا That the time will actually definitely come and there is no doubt about it. So the time of Qiyamah will come and there is no actually doubt about this Qiyamah. So every soul needs to look forth what have you put front? What did you prepare to meet with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Many of us, you know, have taken opportunity from uh, the chance of the month of Ramadan putting a lot of khair and making a lot of good things. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala yaqul, وَمَا يُرِي وَمَا لَعَلَّ السَّاعَةَ تَكُونُ قَرِيبًا السَّاعَةَ تَكُونُ قَرِيبًا وَمَا يُدِرِيكَ لَعَلَّ السَّاعَةَ تَكُونُ قَرِيبًا What will make you know that the time is near? Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us that السَّاعَةَ تَكُونُ قَرِيبًا That the time is near. To Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is nothing. Tomorrow. So we need to make sure that we prepare ourselves for tomorrow. Nobody knows when his time comes. So this is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us. What have you prepared for tomorrow? So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, وَالْتَنْظُرْ نَفْسُ مَا قَدَّمَتْ لِغَدْ وَاتَّقُوا اللَّهِ And then fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala within that. Fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We need to inquire this month to put forth that what we have put in in, 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 in our account that we do not perish it. We do not let it go. لا تبطلوا أعمالكم May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it easier for us to abstain from the things that our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa told us to abstain from it. What, the things that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala prohibited us from. So here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala yunadi ينادي الله سبحانه وتعالى عباده المؤمنين لأن المؤمنين هم الذين يمثلون أمر الله سبحانه وتعالى واجتنابه So the, the believers are the ones who have that qualities to abstain from what Allah سبحانه وتعالى has told us to abstain from it. Now when it comes to the, the society that we live in it's polluted by a lot of sins that the person is so easy for him to commit a sin. Any place. But here it would say it's more easier. That there are Muslims today, they think normal. To drink alcohol is normal to them. To uh, do a, 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 a have a girlfriend is normal to them. Not to get married is normal to them. Not to have this all understanding, it's normal to them, but they believe they are Muslims, of course. They believe in La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah, naam. But at the same time, we need to come with the a'mal. We cannot say that, okay, you know what, I believe in La ilaha illallah, man qala La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah dakhal jannah. Akad. La. La buddha an ta'ati bil a'mal. You must come with the deeds. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, why he said, Tabarak al-ladhi biyadihi al-mulk, wa huwa ala kulli shayin qadeer. الذي خلق الموت the one who created life and death 
آه الذي خلق الموت والحياة إيه ليبلوكم so he can what test you ليبلوكم أيكم أحسن عملا then when Allah سبحانه وتعالى tells us that to test you who will come with the best deeds ولتكم منكم أمة يدعون إلى الخير among you there will be people who will always call the people to the خير they call the people to the خير وأن they tell the people to forbid evil and to leave the evil so this is a time that we just finished our month of Ramadan what we need to do is continue the ibadah continue the Quran not only become Ramadaniyun or Ramadaniyin Bakunu Rabbaniyin be those people who are consistent not only Ramadan because Ramadan is once one once in a year and then that once in a year if you just always telling yourself you know what I'm still young especially the youth if you tell yourself I'm still you know young I have you know my dad is 70 years old his dad is 90 years old you know, this is part of the family route that everybody will survive 70 years it doesn't go that way many times I tell you that a lot of young people that I know a lot of young people that I used to see they left before me and tomorrow there were other people that who were older who were actually some of them in coma some of them are very sick some of them are very ill that you're like you know what this brother is gonna be dying tomorrow but he lives another 20 more years and you die before him so it's not about health people think that you know okay it's about health it's about you know uh, age that is the non-muslims believe in that what only catches us is time of, 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 of oldness and age. No, it's not about age. But it's about the blessings that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given. If Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave you a ni'mah to live in this life, then take it to the best. Some of us will love so much the dunya. The dunya, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us so many times about the dunya. مَا هِيَ هَذِهِ الْحَيَاةِ الدُّنْيَا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala يقول وَمَا هِيَ اِعْلَمُوا أَنَّمَا الْحَيَاةُ الدُّنْيَا Why can't you know that? أَنَّمَا الْحَيَاةُ الدُّنْيَا لَعِبٌ وَلَهُ That is just time and a laugh and a play and a joke and all this and تفاخر and then the challenges between one another who has this, who has that, who has this one but some of us, alhamdulillah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on the day of judgment will give us things and we will be competing with others and tell them look at that what you missed now you missed this you, you had in the dunya but it was just a short time you think 20 years and 50 years is too long no already we started Ramadan and it ended so many people used it benefited from it put in their account get their uh, up, up, upgraded their account upgraded their levels and then they are here and some of the people actually D went down why because they didn't use it Ramadan they were just like you know work after work and worrying about money and worrying about dunya and worrying about this but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala warn you about the dunya Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says وَمَن يَتَّقِ اللَّهَ يَجْعَلْ لَهُ مَخْرَجًا وَمَن يَتَّقِ اللَّهَ يَجْعَلْ لَهُ مِنْ أَمْرِهِ يُسْرًا وَمَن يَتَّقِ اللَّهَ يَجْعَلْ لَهُ يَجْعَلْ لَهُ مِنْ أَمْرِهِ يُسْرًا That is all for the person that who has the fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala The other person that who has the fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala The rest So the rest is for the, the people that who did not take opportunity of this. They didn't take opportunity of Ramadan. They didn't take opportunity of other days. Then what happened? That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will definitely show them the way. The way of what? Because there was two tariqain. Amma tariq. أما الطريق أما أن يكون طريق
أما أن يكون الطريق إلى الجنة وأما أن يكون طريق إلى النار. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa taala to protect us from the path of the hellfire. So now, my dear brothers and sisters, we have to look forth what we are going to do, what we are going, how we are going to do, and prepare ourselves for the life hereafter. How are we going to prepare ourselves? Because we're all going. It's a matter of a time. It's a matter of excuse to say so and so, he died because an accident. So and so because he died, had a heart attack. So and so he died because he had this or that. So it's all of us, it's up to us to look at what we have put forth for tomorrow, Yawm Al Qiyamah, when we meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. فَمِنَّا مَنْ يَكْرَهُ الْمَوْتِ Among us are people that who dislike maut to meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. لِأَنَّ الْمَوْتِ يَأْخُذُكَ إِلَى لِقَاءِ رَبِّكِ To maut takes us to meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And some of us, they actually, they love to meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They ask why? Because they prepared themselves. They are well prepared. If some of us today were, were to ask, are you ready? No, everybody will come and say, I have made, I, ha I need to prepare my future. I'm working on my future. I'm working on, you know, fixing my future. Al-mustaqbal. I, I have to have a mustaqbal. I have to have a future. I have to have this. You know, I'm going to be working on this. I, I want to become this. I want to study this. But w that's what we need for the akhirah too. I want to have this. But that needs to become reality with us. It needs to come really a reality. If it's not reality, then what happens is just we are saying with our mouth. We say things that in our mouth, but it's not in our heart. Or we say things that are in heart, but we just you know, say it out. Yeah, yes, we are ready for it, but we're not. So, my dear brothers and sisters, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it easier for us. Lastly, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us two things. لا يستوي لا يستوي أصحاب الجنة وأصحاب النار They will never be equal. The people of hellfire and the people of jannah. They will never be equal. لا يستوي Why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us who is the winner? He tells us here who is the winner. That أصحاب الجنة هم الفائزون the winners are actually the people of Jannah. They are the ones who win. They are the ones who have the victory in the hereafter. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it easier for us. Inshallah, we'll continue to talk about how we can bring the thamarat of taqwa. This is our first level, inshallah. And we will continue to bring the thamarat, the seeds of making the fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the reason that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, كُتِبَ عَلَيْكُمُ الصِّيَامُ كَمَا كُتِبَ عَلَى الَّذِينَ مِنْ قَبْلِكُمْ وَلَعَلَّكُمْ تَتَّقُونَ So that you can obtain and bring the taqwa of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So you حَاسِبُوا أَنفُسَكُمْ قَبْلَ أَنْ تُحَاسَبُوا you should, you should know yourself in your account. You should put yourself into account and say, okay, you know, how many salats have I missed? How many zakat did I miss? How many sadaqat did I miss? How many things did I miss? How many times did I didn't pray Fajr? How many times I didn't pray for Fajr? How many times I didn't pray with the Jama'ah? How many times I, I slander people? I talk bad about the people? How many times I say things about people? How many times I do this and this and so forth? You need to put yourself into an account. Not people to tell you, you know what, you stop, please, don't talk about other people. Don't talk about, but you need to go back to yourself and see how much have you done and how much are you ready to meet with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because we account ourselves. When we are doing something and we're having something for the future, we always check it. Okay, this will take us to there and this will not be able to take us to there and so forth. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the tawfiq and the understanding and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us all of us to have all the khair and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it easier for us to have the khair. Anyone who is sick, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give them a cure. Anyone that who has going through difficulties, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give him a relief and easier for him. Anyone who has hardship in life, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make a relief and easier for him. So inshallah, my dear uh, brothers and sisters, inshallah, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala all reward you. 
we have made uh, during the month of Ramadan we've been recording and Alhamdulillah one of the the cameras that we have is it has a, a quality that it's able to record a professional way and Alhamdulillah we have a couple surahs that we have uh, put it together uh, Surah Isra and Surah Kahf and uh, Surah Al-Baqarah where people always like to listen in their homes and when we listen to, uh, when we do uh, uh, put Quran in our homes we need to be listening to it not just put, play it and walk out and say okay you know what the, it's like you know when you put a uh, you know you have something to, the, the, to make the house smell and it has a smoke so you say okay you know what this is gonna be like the smoke It's gonna take the hole over the house and it's gonna make the house smell good that's not the way it's gonna happen that means that you have to be there the Quran وَإِذَا قُرِئَ الْقُرْآنِ فَاسْتَمِعُوا لَهُ وَأَنصِتُوا لَعَلَّكُمْ تُرْحَمُونَ so that you get the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you must listen to the Quran so inshallah we have made that and it's in the front and for for the expense so we put it inshallah at ten dollars inshallah a CD and then so we can develop and make more CDs and inshallah my intention also is one day inshallah to have the entire Quran recorded so when I'm sleeping in the grave that other people are there to benefit and other future are there to benefit and you the people that who helped with it they also benefit from it and they take the reciter the listener the supporter and all that will help the people that in order one day when you are sleeping in the grave too then they are somewhere your account is keep going and it's also a part of the your sadaqa jariya may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward us all and give us the tawfiq and the understanding wa jazakumullahu khayran ila husni istima'ikum قد كفاني علم ربي من سؤالي واختياري فدعائي وابتهالي شاهد لي بافتقار